Hi guys, last video for today. Um, I finally bought myself a set of real mega knobs. Um, now they're out in the plastics. I was never ever before going to pay out the uh, crazy money, £15 each I think it was, uh, for the old metal ones. Um, but now they're out in the plastics and I love this one, the big mech. So I got him painted first and um, there he is there. And what I've done is I have fully magnetised this guy for all his options. So off comes his uh, Mega Blaster. And then if you like, on goes his Big Shooter. Um, what I haven't done just yet is I'm also going to put a little magnet right in the end here. Um, so I can swap out flamers, rockets, etc. Uh, for the options, um, also can take off his. I think it's a mech claw, is it? So that pops off there. If you want, you can pop on a power claw. So like that, so. And also, the big grav gun thing comes off the top there. And you can replace that with the custom force field, which I haven't painted yet. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, his little face under there, and I put his shield up so you could see his face. Um, made him as dirty, my normal orc style, really. Um, and pop his uh, Mega Blaster back on there, and his Mech Cannon, or Mech Claw, sorry. And there he is. I've also magnetised up the other knobs from the kit. These are in a various states of uh, completion uh, the jaws not glued in there yet so I can do his face first then you can top out his claw the idea being of magnetizing the hands was um, I can then replace them with the kill saw option if I want um, I know it doesn't really matter but rather than buying two sets and doing one lot with the kill saws and one lot without but I magnetize them up I don't use them too often and I've got three of the Cromlech um, mega knobs anyway. Um, there's the little grot orderly, or no, uh, what's he called? Grotoiler. Um, just put him on some wacky bay. 